I'm here to talk to you about what is literally a gem treasure. If you look at these beautiful pomegranate seeds, they look like rubies, and I consider them gems of the holiday season. You know, it really has kind of that citrusy, tart, lovely kind of uh, juice that will enhance any sort of salad or vinaigrette. Uh, certainly is beautiful in color. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to peel them and how to juice them and how to make a salad out of them. This first one we're gonna do Martha Stewart style. Now I was just taught this method. I'm not sure I can accomplish it, but we're gonna cut it right across what is described as the equator. Now I've done many Martha Stewart shows and I've never seen her do this, but I'm gonna try it. She spanks the pomegranate. Now. You guys have probably all seen this. Uh, I have not. To me, it would break up the, the, the juicy part of it a little bit, but it seems to it seems to work. You can see they're kind of falling out. Not a bad idea. Of course, there's the old-fashioned method, which is just kind of pluck it open and scoot them with your fingers right off the little rind. Okay, Martha, I give. That's a nice technique. That's ready for the salad, but I want a blini to start. I'm gonna take that other wedge that we had, just like that, and we're gonna pop it into our juicer. Now this will work on your home style hand juicer. I'm gonna do it on my big juicer, and you just simply squeeze it like you would an orange or a lemon or a lime, and you can see the juice is pouring out of there. Then we just take a bit of our juice and just pour enough in it to color the champagne. It does wanna bubble up, be careful. Now let's move on to the salad. Have these beautiful ripe Anjou pears. And basically, I'm gonna cut around the core. So right down, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on them, put a little olive oil. And then the trick to this, I've got this nice sweet ripe pear. Now I'm gonna use pomegranate molasses. And this comes in all sorts of labels, but it's very typical in the Mideast to have this ingredient in your pantry. I love it because it's super tart, super sour, and it balances out sweet vinaigrettes. Just a light dusting. Toss that up. And we're gonna roast our pears at 425 degrees. All right, there we go, that's our roasted pears. Now let's build our salad. I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh arugula right there in the center of our plate. I'm gonna take our roasted pears. And you can either plop them around Put them on the side. Maybe some fresh roasted hazelnuts. A little bit of fresh crumbled blue cheese. And now for the gems on top is our picked pomegranate seeds. Don't they look like rubies? And for our dressing, we're simply gonna drizzle over the top. Enjoy your holidays. Make sure pomegranates are front and center because they are the rubies of the winter.